Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Right, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. I'm back with another episode of Cyber CEO. We are very lucky to have a very special guest on the show right now. Lynn, how are you doing today? Great. All right, that's good to hear. Thank you very much for being on the show. We know you're very, very busy. So, um, for the benefit of everyone who's listening and watching, can you tell us something about yourself, Lynn? Well, thank you so much, and thank you for having me here today. Um, I am a realtor in upstate New York, so that's what you would know as um, anything outside New York City, mm -hmm. and um, I've enjoyed um, doing so for the last six years, and um, I have a, a, a small uh budding team right now um, that uh, the, the primary people are myself and my cyber backer, mm -hmm. and then I have a few folks who uh, are also working with me. So Okay, so... So six years in the real estate industry, is that right? Correct. Yes. So is this your first time working with someone virtually? Virtually, yes. This is my right. first virtual assistant. Right. How's the experience been so far working with your own cyber backer? Um, it's really, uh, it was very seamless. And um, I did have an assistant prior to working with my cyber backer. And um one of the um, concerns I had um, was that when that person, uh, due to the pandemic, needed to tend to some family concerns, was how was I going to transition quickly? And so um, it's just been a really uh, smooth transition in a, in a little over a year together, and it's been a great year. All right, that's good. You're a little over a year now. Um, a lot of people right now aren't really buying into the idea of virtual leverage yet. But what we'd like to know from you is what makes this type of a relationship work? What makes it a successful partnership? Well, there's so many reasons that I would tell uh you know, my colleagues about why um, Cyberbacker is working for me and why I think it would work for them. Um, just in terms of the relationship, um, the the quality of um, the of the assistant. And I find that to be universal whenever I've masterminded with other agents throughout the country um, who coincidentally are also using Cyberbacker or when I've referred them to friends. Um, it's very consistent in terms of their success, um, the the speed in which the cyber backer comes to you. So they're, you know, you had started it, they were all so busy and um, they they come so well trained because they spend so much time in cyberbacker school, uh, learning our systems. And um, I think there's, I, I wish I knew more about um, the culture and the country that you all um, hail from, but i um, very impressed with the workforce. Of course, we really appreciate those kind of words, Lynn. Now, um, you've been working with your cyberbacker a little over a year, as you mentioned. How much time has she saved you? Well, you know, um, we have our daily tasks and there are things that um, she does a lot of things that I don't know how to do. And I'm so grateful for that. Um, and so if I had to learn those things, if I had to take myself away, it would cost me money because it would be things that I couldn't do otherwise. And oftentimes, because we spend so much time on the road, um, very uh convenient to be able to hop in and be dynamic um, in jumping in on assignments. Um, please look up this. Uh, can you check out that? Um, send this to somebody else because those needs are coming up. So the time, um, I don't even know that I could quantify it, but um, I know how much time my day takes me as it is. I wouldn't be able to achieve the level. There, there would just be so much falling through the, the cracks. Um, I, I have to think, uh, you know, she's working, you know, right alongside me, mm -hmm. even if it's not in a physical sense. So. All right. Someone to back you up, making sure that, again, as what you mentioned, nothing falls through the cracks. Um, what we'd like to know more of is what are these things and these tasks that your cyberbacker do for you and your business? 
Um, we really try to stay in touch with our clients on a personal level. And so the attention that, uh, well, one of the things that we're working on together is developing our social media presence and um, being in contact and paying attention to what is important to our clients and in, in our sphere. So um, we uh, work around that. Some of the activities, um, so much goes into our marketing, whether that's uh, simple graphics, flyers, things like that. And I think most agents would agree those are time sucks because you can sit there and tweak something and go back and forth. And um, at least it was for me. And so I'm glad to be able to, um, you know, have an idea, pass it off, maybe make some suggestions and go from there. Um, so th there's uh, there's that. Everything to do with our transactions, very heavy uh, compliance uh, regarding paperwork, um, catches all those little signatures and things that need to be corrected. I was very impressed at the level of the understanding of the real estate transaction. Um, you know, there's there's agents who have a license who uh, would be challenged to catch some of the things that my cyber backer has, has caught in terms of all the documents, especially in New York State. We're very heavily um, weighted on that. And um, those things, that attention to detail um, have really uh, uh, been important to me. And um uh, every morning I have a daily task list and every evening I have an end of day report. And so those things really keep me on track and uh, knowing where we are um, following up on all those details of the transaction is something that is all of um, my cyber bankers responsibility. So a lot of things and she's everywhere in the business. Am I right? Especially transactions and social media. Am I right? Correct. Yes. Correct. Now, and I know, and there's things that I know that she could do more of that, um, I, it's, it's really on me that I really, um, could probably have her, uh, doing more things and it's just getting my act together enough to, to pass it off and come up with a new system for it. So, okay. Of course, that's something that we can work on probably moving forward as, as well. Right now, yes, my, next, yes. my, my next question is a bit tough. Have there been any challenges that you've had working with Cyberbacker or opportunities for growth? <laughs> Um, not in terms of training. Um, I, I think that my cyber backer is, um, really has a tremendous skill set. What's interesting is the time difference. Um, yes. I've never had an issue, never had an issue, um, working with somebody when it's two o'clock my time and it's two o'clock and you know, the overnight their time, that's never been a problem. Um, certainly there's some things that, um, the mom kind of control freak in me, like, oh, I'll just do it myself rather than, than try to explain it. But that's that's the issue of working virtually that sometimes the feeling of it's, it's easy. I don't have to explain that. Whereas if maybe you had the proximity, you might take a little bit more time. Um, but uh, overall, it's it's a win. It's a All win right. for what I'm gaining. All right. We really love to hear that. That's a win for you and your business. Now, just wanted to ask, though, how did your cyber backer overcome that challenge? Um, the communication is really great. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how she has gotten messages to me. I noticed them they come through Facebook Messenger. So I'm assuming um, that when the internet's down, there must be some um, uh, cell signal that she's able to do that. Um, and so if there's any kind of power delays, it's usually not for days. We really haven't encountered that. I, I imagine that uh, the Philippines is probably equipped for um, while the power's down and they get the generators back. So there's probably a, a pretty well um, expecting it. It's kind of like where I live, we're yeah. used to big snowstorms. And so when other people think of a snowstorm, they, they are concerned we're not. So it's what we're used to. Of course, yes, of course, our cyber backers also have their own backup. So they would be able to still communicate with our cyber seers, just for sure. Now, one last yes. question, Lynn. What advice would you be able to give other business owners that are listening right now about hiring a cyber backer? Um, well, it's interesting um, from a practical standpoint in terms of the actual hiring practice. And when you need that leverage in your business um, and you uh, think of what would have to go into managing that process. I don't even want to think about it and I don't want to have to manage the process. So for me, it was a huge win to have the training taken care of, uh, to have someone who understands our business 
and the fact that my cyber backer has a community of other backers. So, so I've had the conversation to say, can you ask someone in your group about, you know, what other people are doing about this yes. and try to get some ideas back. So the network that, that the cyber backers have amongst others has been a benefit to me as well. Um, but the management of it, um, the, I was willing to commit to the process because I knew that if it wasn't a good fit, uh, Cyberbacker had done such a good job up front in explaining that if it's not a good fit, if this is not a good hire, we have a, a process in place and um, we'll work through it. So I didn't have to worry about that human resources aspect that I would worry about if I had an employee yes. um, calling in sick, yes. stuck in traffic. Mm -hmm. Those haven't been problems for us. And I think in this COVID environment, um, it's really been a positive, not only for us in the States, but for uh, the Cyberbacker community to be able to work from home. Yes, definitely because of the COVID. We've learned to take advantage of the virtual life, living virtually, right? Now, um, yes. one last thing then, Lynn. Um, I know that your cyberbacker, Janella, is listening to us right now. Would you want to give her a quick shout out on the oh, show? Oh, she is? Yes. Well, she's great. And um, it's, it's a day brightener to me. Um, it's a lonely business because I don't have someone patting me on the back and even simple reminders like it's noon, it's lunchtime. While we were on this call, I got that reminder, it's noon, it's lunchtime, or reminding me to drink my water or to be safe. And um, so not only is someone taking care of my my, my paperwork and my Facebook and all those messages, but um, I really do feel loved. And I certainly love her, um, even though we're across the miles and we spend most of our time texting, um, there's a human element too. And um, I think I, she would say the same thing. We formed a bond and um, I just think so much of her. We are very excited to see where your partnership and friendship with your cyber backer would be in the next few years to come. Lynn, thank you very much for being on the show today. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.